I did not like this novel. Hi, hello, welcome back. If you don't know, my name is Kieran and I have decided to read all 13 books on the Booker long list before the short list is announced on September 6th so that you can decide whether or not you want to read these books. First up, we have Booth by Karen Joy Fowler. This is a family portrait. This is a novel that delves into the parents and siblings of the infamous John Wilkes Booth, the man who assassinated President Lincoln. This novel is over 400 pages, nearly 500 pages of uninspired prose. It is incredibly repetitive. It is ripe with unnecessary theater details. <laughs> it's a lot and it's dull. Our author has decided that, she, she relays this in the author's note, that she doesn't want to give attention to John, who in my head I've been calling Justin. She, <laughs> so that's why there's that long awkward pause. Rather than giving him attention because she says he was a man who craved attention and I would rather not give it to him, she turned her lens to the parents and the siblings. So the world around him, we are always conscious of his presence though, even when he's not even on the page, even when he hasn't even been born yet. Man's not born until page 59, but those first 59 pages, you're just wondering, when is he going to show up? Then he shows up and he's nothing. <laughs> uh, we delve into the lives of the siblings. We see how the family unit, in order for the family unit to survive, the children of the Booth family must make enormous sacrifices. Rosalie, whose character, as we learn in the author's note, was the most fabricated, is the one who takes up the mantle of carrying her mother's grief. She is her mother's number one confidant. They are like this and it's a very codependent relationship. We see how Rosalie must shrink herself, alter who she is in order to support her mother, to be there for this woman who gave birth to her. Edwin, who is one of the sons, not the eldest, the eldest son, June, manages to escape the fate his father had originally wanted for him, which was to take care of the farm. He spends most of his time in SF drinking and acting. There's a lot of drinking in this book. Actors love to drink is the moral of this book. <laughs> it's not, but that's one takeaway and an important one to note, especially as Edwin, who eventually becomes the most famous actor within the booth siblings. He must cut his education short in order to tour with his father, to be his father's shadow and to kind of curtail his drinking as best as he can. We see how these children make sacrifices and if the novel had focused on that maybe and really had a tighter edit, narrow scope, maybe I could have came away from this with like yeah, I see what was being done. I, I can see it. Because in some regards, the first quarter of it really drives home that message. You really come away from the text being like, wow, like you need to make a lot of sacrifices in order to sustain a family. But that's not what's happening here. Instead, we are moving along the years so many years so much time is covered in this book and it frequently feels like an info dump there's a lot of telling there's a lot of in this year this happened the author also interjects the story of the booth family to show us tell us what lincoln is doing and initially i was willing to kind of run with the bit. I assumed that these moments were interlaced within the text to show us how Johnny Boy is kind of getting radicalized while Lincoln is ascending to power. Instead, these moments, these breaks, made me wish I was reading a biography on Abraham Lincoln. And I don't, and not in like a, like, wow, I'm learning so much. This is so interesting. Like once I finish this exciting book, I can't wait to go run out and buy myself a biography. 
no i was like this book is hella boring like i need i, I would rather be reading a dense biography incredible like a, a dry biography because that would be more exciting than this was one of the problems that i had with this text was that it was hard to know who our narrator is it's giving omniscient close third with a lens on three of the siblings rosalie asia and edwin however and especially at the halfway mark the author's hand starts to feel heavy she's dropping hints she's dropping her pov into this and it feels very heavy-handed it really infuriated me because i don't really care what Karen J. Fowler's point of view is here. For example, page 258, when referencing a bill proposed by Representative Curtis Jacob, where something bad was gonna happen, right? Like, we, we don't stand. However, Karen interjects, Jacob's bill is thankfully defeated. Whose point of view is this? Not, none of the Booth siblings, we, we get the impression that the Booth family, for the most part, is very apolitical. They are more concerned with what's happening in their own life and their own trials and tribulations rather than the country's predicament. Except for Johnny Boy, who feels very strongly that he is a southerner. But we don't really get his POV, so we don't know. So that's one example. Another is on page 421. Oh, oh this is an example, sorry, of bad writing. Page 421. Here's the thing about John. You can talk to him, but you can't make him listen. And that's not like a quote that one of the siblings is saying about their brother. That is literally our narrator being like, here's the thing about John. You can talk to him, but you can't make him listen. As a whole, I would not recommend you read this. I'm sorry. I think you should read a biography on Lincoln or on Booth instead. And, and honestly, actually, rather than taking my word for it, because you should always, you know, be a little cautious, I would say go to a bookstore and read the first 30 pages. That's enough of a taster. If you feel after those 30 pages that you're down, go off. Go off, my guy. But I honestly think you should just read the books of Jacob instead, because that is a historical fiction book filled with details right and we never get jacob's point of view but we get an understanding of who jacob is and how he was formed and the historical things that were happening that formed him and his rise without actually getting his point of view and it seems like this is just a cheap attempt at that yeah okay those are my thoughts. If you gave it a go, let me know in the comments. Tell me what you thought. And I will see you for the next one.